It's so hot out here. I don't feel like I'm gonna be able to film out here for very long because it's really hot. I, uh, I cut my hair. Like actually me, I cut it. I haven't had my hair professionally done in four years now, I guess. And even then, uh, I probably only had it done like three times. I've always just cut my own hair. I'm sure every professional hairstylist out there is like, yeah, yeah, I know. I can tell, but I can't, so whatever. I've also had just terrible experiences every time I've ever paid someone to do my hair. The haircuts are always not at all what I wanted and generally way too short. Oh, you know what? I'm lying. The last time I had my hair done, I had it styled for my friend's wedding. I wanted just like a simple waterfall braid right here because I picked it. I thought it was really easy. It would just take a few minutes. I could be in and out. I didn't, you know, whatever. So I sit down first round and uh, like four hours later, all of the other girls are done. The girls that sat down in their chairs long after me are finished. Half of the party has left. And my hairstylist walks away crying. The manager comes up and apologizes and explains that the girl that was doing my hair uh, doesn't actually do updos, only does haircuts. And so she didn't really know how to do it. So at this point, my hair is like caked full of hairspray and just a lost cause. So the manager ends up just doing something random with my hair, not at all what I wanted. Uh, it looks terrible. They charge me the full price still, and I go home and basically just brush out as much of the hairspray as I can, try to redo it as best I can. So, long story short, um, I do my own trims. So, I did that, and you probably can't even, it's, it's so long at this point, like what's the difference? Also, my hair is like so long and thick my entire life. Uh, probably one of, one of the only awards I've ever won. Uh, I got the day I was born because I was the baby born with the longest hair at that hospital. So they gave me some little naked gold baby crawling on a, a piece of marble slab. Um, it was a really ugly baby though. Like newborns should not have hair down to their shoulders. It just looked weird. But it's been growing ever since. Oh, my arms are tired. <laughs> I have to keep switching. I went to the Renaissance Festival yesterday. If you've never been to one, you should go. They are so much fun. Uh, like highlight of my year. I travel all over to go to these festivals. Uh, it's, it's admittedly nerdy, but also give it a chance because it's, it's just incredibly entertaining. They have something for everybody. Um, so I go to, to Georgia, the one here. Um, this year I'm also going to, my arms are so tired. Um, <laughs> I'm also going to the one in Michigan and um, so the one in Michigan, the one in Texas, and the one in Louisiana. Uh, my whole family likes to go. My mom, my stepdad, my sister, we all go to them. Um, so that's what we did yesterday. Of course, I had every intention of vlogging some of it and I am just really awkward holding a camera in public, so this is what I got. It's hot. Oh, in really terrifying and exciting news, my truck broke down again. Um, I didn't have an old truck. It didn't even have 100,000 miles on it. A cat. Same cat as before. Knocked my juice over. It's all filthy now. Why? I won't pet you so you just throw things? I love these juices. What is it? Suja? Suja? Cold pressed juice? Love that. I'm actually really thirsty. I can't open it though. <laughs> camera is in my hand. So my truck broke down again and well, I'll just show you. That marks the third time this year and I've already spent I think $2,200 at two different mechanics. One that was just like a mom and pop style 
kind of mechanic and one that was actually a dealership. Oh, it's sunny. It just kept breaking down. So I got a new truck. I mean, it's exactly the same as my last truck. It's a Ram. Most importantly, it is under warranty for 100,000 miles. Brand new truck, but also kind of fun. It's the Longhorn Edition, which I don't know how many people like trucks, but it's a very, very nice truck. And I got a full trade-in on my other truck. Uh, I got back every dollar I paid for it three years ago, 30,000 miles ago, so I don't feel too guilty. Get the sunroof. And it's actually going to be costing me less per month than my last truck uh, once I factor in all the money I've been spending on repairs. So, not bad. I have like a sweat mustache right now. Of course, it's like typical life around here. I woke up today and was like, I don't have hardly anything on my schedule for today. That like never happens. And, uh, thought it would be the perfect day to film and edit. And then in typical farm fashion, like all hell broke loose and every animal needed something. And I had to mend all these fences and cages and just craziness. So now here we are, what, three in the afternoon? Uh, I still have half a cup of coffee I haven't finished. Haven't eaten anything yet today. And my chores are not even close to done. I'm really excited. I have a couple of videos planned, of course, animal videos. Uh, planned and two of them were waiting on specific items to be delivered and uh, both of them have shipped so really looking forward to that well um I was planning on filming in here way too hot and my arms are like jello but my sister broke the little pulley cord for this fan the other day and so now I can't have just the light on without the fan and I'm sure you can hear um, the fan is really obnoxious. I guess I gotta find somewhere else. I am about to buy some of the huge cages that I want for the animals um, for in the, the pet cottage. There's not, it's not that much further along in the progress but I just, the anticipation, like I can't and I'm sure it's really annoying because I have stuff everywhere right now that all just needs to go all over the house all over the garage all over the cottage um just just waiting to go in there but i'm just excited to give my pets an amazing place to live so that's what i'm doing right now uh, i'm going to probably make a salad this is not like a health thing trust me but i really really love so i have eaten salad every day for weeks now once it gets hot outside i like fresh cool salad. I put a ton of stuff in it though. It's not even healthy by the time I'm done with it. So the other day at Goodwill, I found a lot of pig stuff to add to my collection. Like some other pig collector surrendered their stash or who knows what the story is, but I scooped it up and this wasn't even all of it. Again, keep in mind, Goodwill, these were like a couple dollars a piece, so I'm only kind of crazy for buying all of these. But um, I usually don't buy piggy banks, which a lot of these are. I think that could just get out of control if I started collecting piggy banks, but these were so, these were so cheap and so cute. So now I have some piggy banks. Look at the little faces though. I love them. If you haven't watched my video touring my pig cottage filled with all of my pig stuff, it's a lot. And then my camera overheated, so I decided to start making my food. Uh, this is the salad that I have basically every day. Oh, lost a piece of lettuce. It's uh, pretty much a whole package of romaine lettuce. I can't do spinach, I just can't. I like it in everything else, but raw spinach, nope. Uh, a whole tomato, whole avocado, sunflower seeds, flax seeds, almond slivers, dried cranberries, chia seeds, and then I do either like a garlic vinaigrette or um, a dairy-free onion dressing. Uh, and then I usually put some kind of fake chicken and um, some fake cheese on it also. 
and it's huge and delicious. So this is like lunch and dinner. <laughs> Before anyone freaks out about me eating salad for almost every meal, I don't, like, can you see how big this is? I'm actually putting a full thing of lettuce in here. It's huge. 